While East Hippic is beginning to develop tourism now, neighboring Madang has been the beneficiary of this industry. It's Papua New Guinea's tourism destination. 110 years ago, um, Nikolai Maclay came into Madang and settled uh, on the right coast. And a lot of the words he said in those times when he first came into uh, Papua New Guinea as the first white settler still remain today. It's the land of the contented people. And it's, uh, Madang, I think, is the best way to describe it. Contentment and just the natural beauty of Madang with less law and order problems have given this province the edge over East Sepik in tourism. Even many of the famous civic carvers travel to Madang to sell their handiwork. The utopia in tourism for both Madang and East Sepik would be for tourism authorities in both towns to complement each other. While Madang has the right promotions, hotels and the tranquility, WIWEC needs to address its social problems, build a few more hotels and carry out more marketing. The script for Madang continues to sound better. In fact, the province is poised for development on a much bigger scale within the Momasi region. Already linked by road from Leh, investors are looking at Madang seriously as a province to put their money in. Immediately after independence, Leh, as Papua New Guinea's industrial city, got a lot of new businesses. But the law and order problems and the run-down state of its infrastructure, such as roads, have contributed to a diversion of new investments from Leh. Significant of that have been the James Barnes meat cannery and wheels with the establishment of an office and factory in Madang. There are more to come. Uh, I'm pleased that two canneries have set up here, not because they're exploiting our marine resources, but because if we don't build the factories here, that fish will continue to be exploited out of our waters and taken to Thailand and Singapore and other places. And obviously, you know, to have it uh, um, treated or downstream processed in Papua New Guinea, at least we can control that resource a lot better. In the next few years, Madang is likely to get more industries of downstream processing. The people and the environment, two important prerequisites to investment, work in favour of Madang. Furthermore, Madang holds on strongly to their traditional ways and beliefs where the elders and the young have time for each other. This is Ribo village, 20 kilometers north of Madang town. It's as peaceful as can be in Madang, that's not uncommon. Polias Kubula is the grandfather of this particular family. Saturday is another typical day in the life of this coastal village family.
on this day, Tubuna Kublan has decided to show his grandchildren and their friends a few basic skills that are necessary in the village, building a house. Later, the skills of making an out-trigger canoe. Was me play no got canoe, but me play no got water, me play no got kai kai. Now me play no na walk about to go long big place, or go long island, or go long salt water, long piney marbles. Canoe em all same like belong me play man Mary belong island, long Nambis. After lunch, a trip to a small island owned by police. The children then test their chances of catching dinner on their return. Long name belong Papa na pikin ni na long Holy Spirit Amen. Now you my family bung now you me talk thank you long God. Religion plays a central part in this family. Polias was heavily involved in the work of the Catholic Church in his prime days. Long before long, mi pala ino kasi mi independent yet, and mi pala iwo Catholics. Mi iwo Catholics long 1952. We come up long 19. 70, uh, no, 62, and only around him all. Will school now, only bring him go along. All work him call community school. All right now, only losing me play along place now. Me play losing work at this again. I go work on some community below school. I start chairman belong community school. Long help him work him care up all business belong school. Long buy him school bus. Or find him school fee or something, all same, they click money inside the school, me plus I get up. As well as ensuring that his grandchildren learn the skills of survival in a coastal village, they also develop spiritually. The obedience and respect shown by the children says a lot about the peace and tranquility of Madame. <laughs> 